It's all yours, bud. You've had your lesson. That's it. <laughs> it's all yours. He's turning it over. <laughs> Sexy as hell. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, oh, do you hear that? Remember, we were at the Can Am, uh, the Historics race in Monterey and Taggart had the, uh, the Formula One car there, and it was just like, oh my God, look at these cars go around the track, and, and, and it was just like Formula One. And then they said, all right, Formula One cars clear out, it's time for the Can-Am cars to come on. And it was just like, oh, you want to talk about a difference? It was a night and day difference. chassis i'll show you a picture of it this thing this is not the original chassis none of this is original anymore. yeah this well thing. a lot of these cars that are on the market now um it's really hard to say what their history is and so there's a real in-depth process to really inspect it correctly someone's putting their life at risk with that exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. like that's that's crazy phase one is the engine and it's got okay. some issues okay up here is a very inexpensive entry-level type of roller rocker system you know you can't just look it over you got to pull the wheels off you got to pull the body off there's a really a substantial <laughs> amount of in-depth investigation before you really have a good idea of what kind of a car there is That should plug into is Jeffy. should be another plug on us. Are you guys man enough to ride in this car? No, we'll find out. <laughs> How are we doing? Good. You set? You good, John? He's in for the ride of his life. He will never, he will have never had a ride like this. Oh. <laughs> he did that straight away in like two seconds. I gotta tell you that it changes everything. Doesn't it? Change everything <laughs> oh my god! Isn't that incredible? When you think about a street car or something, forget it. There's nothing well, even close. Have you ever had a ride like that? And Never. In anything? John. Yeah. I can tell you. Thanks for making a safe car. What are you screaming? It yeah. feels great out there. Hey, it just balanced. When you're in just... the car, you begin to appreciate that he's here. Oh yeah. Trust I. Me, trust I was thinking. Going I'm gonna thank fast. Dean for making a safe car, and. Uh, Chuck, I don't know what you think, but the handling, it felt great out there. It's outrageous. Is it? It is. What about the straightaway when you're Oh, when you hit it, it's just like, it all you hear is engine. Oh, really? Oh, it's roaring. So hard. That has an outrageous feeling. It's addictive. It makes you think, you, th you get it in this, street cars, forget it. It's a waste of time. Oh, man. <laughs> when the car first arrived, we did a preliminary assessment of it. It needed a substantial amount of work. It had uh, new axles. Uh, new wheels made, um, we had to pull the heads off, they needed quite a bit of work done on the heads. Um, several little things, a lot of little fasteners that were incorrect, a lot of hardware that wasn't military type hardware, we went through and changed and so now uh, we're out testing for the first time and so far so good. I said the car's good, it's, it handles, it, I am just pushing very hard yet but it handles, it's got lots of power, the engine's running good. All those problems that we had are all seem to be fixed. You can look, you can look at the back tires even, it's, they're perfect. You know, we 
put the wider wheels on. I think it's time to uh, have some fun. <laughs> We're gonna go out there and uh, put it all on the line. Buckle the passenger side together, just so it's not flopping around. Actually, here, let me show you how to do this. It's going great. Did he get the microphone in his helmet, Chuck? Right through here. And then the uh, covered switch, you lift that up. Now that's ignition, so you can just flip that down. So it should go ahead and start right now. Put this down. If you flip it down, it shuts it off. What do I have to do to be able to get into second gear easy? Because I felt like I was maybe going too fast and I couldn't get it in, but when I slowed down, it was easy to get in. It's hard to say where the gearing is because the transmission would change each pair of gears. In, aside from that, then it, everything was great. Yeah. I figured it out. I only did second gear at that hairpin up there, third and fourth, everything else. Yeah. I can't believe people who haven't experienced this, man, they're not living. No idea. <laughs> It's, it's a whole nother world. Oh, it's just a car at a racetrack. Yeah. No. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah. And I'm just scratching the surface, but I want to learn how to like start pushing it a little bit. Right. Yeah. At some point, it probably wouldn't be bad when you're comfortable to go out again with Chuck. Now you got another way to look at. Yeah, the and I'm going to start watching how he did it. So, I yeah. mean, so you, now you know right. in your mind what to look for. Oh, okay, yeah. he's here, or he's breaking here, or mm -hmm. he's on the throttle easy. And yeah. until you drive it, you can't. I, I don't know say, it's, like, it's a great first day. I was like slamming it on the gas a little bit. Dude, that looks so good coming out of straight up. If you're this is the best sure. decision. You're natural. What's this that? is the best decision. It's we did the right thing. We're, we're going to sell it though. After <laughs> yeah, right. You <laughs> sell it to me. <laughs> All right. This is the life. I got to tell you, you haven't lived until you get behind the wheel and the shifter of that. Holy cow. Have you ever experienced anything like this before? It's a lot more comfortable than it looks. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Okay. It's just the sound freaks you out, but okay. it is way comfortable. <laughs> this is Michael Taggart here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. We have a in the car. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna have to get well, in here to get the other seatbelt. The yeah. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's only taken 20 years, you know. <laughs>
fast okay. do you think we were going, Dean? Oh, I'll bet you're pushing 150, 160 maybe. Is that the fastest you ever been in a car, Craig? Without question. I mean, that that was an experience like I've never had in my life. My God, that was just, uh, you know, thank God we've got a driver like Chuck. There you go. That was the most graceful entry out of everybody. You got the father and son duo here, the Robert man and the John man. They did. They did. I love that point. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Custom cast. I mean, they look perfect on the car. The biggest thing is really keep your good. feet to the left much as you can. Yeah. You'll feel a little structure in you between. You can take you. half of this right here. Oh, all right. You... Yeah. Get ready for Laguna's sake. It will be the first, the first paired team. So we're just happy to get the car to this point, so we can go up to Laguna Seca, and then. Uh, just keep the good times rolling. The steering's just smooth, precise, a uh, lot wider power band. Uh, yeah, so some good work went to the car. Felt, felt really good out there. And it feels stable to you? Yeah. And Zach was right, you don't have to hardly downshift. No. I, I even went through some corners in fourth gear on accident. Yeah. It's no big deal. And it accelerated out okay? Yeah. yeah. I think that's part of just putting a little more fuel to it where the engine's getting, you know, real happy. It's getting a good mixture when it'll yeah. when it'll respond like that down low and not stutter, then you're really close on fuel mixture. I think we set a a, a, a lap uh, record out there. Yeah. At least it felt like it. 30, 31 flat with a passenger. Oh, really? 31 flat with a passenger. All I can say is, in Chuck we trust. <laughs> that's probably a big mistake. That's probably a massive that mistake. was just, okay, he's, he's driving. Think about making that, that long, sweeping turn. Oh, man, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. That was great, though. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've got to be trusting. There are, oh, a, lot yeah, people, there are a lot of people who won't ride with me. I tell you to slow down. I just, I'm <laughs> trusting them. You said you usually don't run that fast? Not with a passenger. Oh, so you're pushing it. Yeah. Once I over. knew he saw one of that BMW <laughs> in that other car, and then he's... Do you okay, chase him down? Oh, shit, <laughs> man. He's going after him. I said, we can't, let him, we can't let him do that. <laughs> he's going after him. <laughs> We've been working on the car since last year, and uh, really from suspension to the top end of the engine, to uh, steering, to uh, fuel injection system, uh, to you name it, on and on, uh, the car's been gone through and we're really seeing the results. So our, we probably have one more testing day uh, scheduled in about a month and then we'll be looking forward towards the 50th anniversary, the Can-Am series at, uh, in Monterey, uh, the uh, historic races there. So we're, we're excited to have uh, Chuck McConnell uh, drive our car uh, during that series and we're really looking forward to being part of history. Well, he's going to do a couple laps to warm it up, and then we'll do a plug check on it. And then we're going to do about 10 laps to see how the uh, fuel burn is and how the battery holds up. Okay, so the plan is to make one more real good hard session. Um, you know, on a, you know, not on an open track day where we don't have to contend with a lot of other traffic. It's going to run a lot of laps. I want him to run something that would represent a race in time and in laps. Um, this car has an alternator 
that's driven off of one of the half shafts. And so until we know the output of that alternator and how well it maintains the voltage in the battery over the half hour or so the cars have to run for a vintage race, we won't really be sure if we've got enough battery capacity until we actually do a mock run of that and as well as being able to check the fuel consumption and, and what the minimum amount of fuel would be to actually run and complete one of the vintage races. You know, we're a little rich here. Are you? Yeah, but not, I mean, if it didn't feel real lazy on no, you. No, it didn't feel lazy. No. Just shut down for a second and then it came back on <laughs> just bang bang like that i'd seen it the, the lap before the pressure kind of fluctuated i thought shit i may be running out of fuel i'm not sure but that's what it did so. looking forward to uh you know feeling out next upgrades we have done on the car see how steady that is with the uh with all the gears uh replaced new gears um, so looking forward, you know, this will be our closing day here before we head up to the historics in Monterey. First venture out in the Lola here. Got it. So straightforward first, second, third, fourth. Exactly. Okay. It's tough to have your first day in the car and have a mechanical fuel pump acting up because you don't know how to drive through it and you're scared to stomp on it. What it is is the fuel pump is intermittent, the, the mechanical one. And when I try and open it, I, and when I stand on it, it's yeah, just not doing that. Yeah, because you don't have enough fuel pressure to open the nozzles properly. Yeah, so it, it goes around, it, it idles around the truck, fine. Right. You try and open it up and it just it just right. sputters. Yeah, and that's just the fuel pressure is way below. So you're way below the red one. Yeah, then just... That's better, huh? My parents just recently... You got gloves, John? Well, it looks like we lost the mechanical pump. Okay. Um, not the drive or anything, but the pump itself. You know, when you turn it off, it's got like 20 pounds. Yeah. It should be like 120. All right, so and it's full up. of fuel. Is that the original pump? It's we haven't touched it, yeah. so it's what came with the car. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know what we can do. Well, we don't have a spare pump or anything here. Better find it now than in yeah, the that's array. that's what this is. So. Yeah. The the onboard electric pump will give you enough fuel pressure, enough fuel flow to make like 400 horsepower or so. Uh, so let's see if you can go ahead and drive it and just leave both pumps on. Uh -huh. And once it's going, the alternator will give it more. Oh, uh, and 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 I'll know what's going on just by the if amount it just of power starts I get. Stumbling. Yeah, if it just starts to stutter, just pull then back. just pull back and come on in. But if it feels okay, keep an eye on the on the fuel pressure gauge. around 1 130 135 okay so the mechanical pump is back working you're kidding me no <laughs> what the hell was going on every time you work on the car it's a little better so well, that's the point the th <laughs> i'm glad to hear that john <laughs> the, the uh, throttle response and the gears i mean it's the it's the fastest it's ever felt yeah so 
It's just beautiful. Yeah, we added fuel and then getting the gears where they should be. I mean, the acceleration is just, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Wow, what a great car. So great to see it back out and going again. And uh, it just sounds fantastic. And uh, got the right guy uh, driving it. And uh, I think uh, this, is, this is destined to be a, uh, a major addition to uh, the, uh, the show coming up part that is going to reward you is that you are doing it right yeah. and making sure that you don't just try to rush something that is fresh out of the box from some clowns that you know yeah. may or may not have known what they were doing oh, and, and getting it right. We know a lot of people like that. And there are. And, <laughs> and I have bought race cars over the years and I know you can try everything under the sun but at the end of the day if you rush it to the track you will regret it. You know, look, we're going to take a, it's a whole different bag of tricks. There's 37 cars going to be there. I tell you, we're just going to go over the attitude. We're going to do the best we can. It may be just fine. Who knows? But I'm always quicker in the race anyhow. So. Mm -hmm. Here's the lineup for the next group on track, Group 7A, 1968 to 1974 Can-Am cars. Yeah, we came out for the prehistorics. We decided to come out the week early, uh, get acclimated, get the cars set up, uh, do the, uh, the uh, you know, trial days there, uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, and uh, so Friday, I was part of the, uh, the parade that went from the track down to Monterey, downtown Monterey had a car show down there. So that was a big deal. We were the only Can-Am in the fleet. There was mostly hot rods, so it def definitely was a big attention grabber. It was a little bit of a handful driving this car in the streets of Monterey, but I loved it. Uh, I got to ride down with my dad, and, and he got a kick out of that. Um, so that, that, was, that was a big deal. second session yesterday we had some problems with a sticking throttle so we brought it back in we found a place where one of the bolts that holds the linkage together was just slightly too long and under the real wrong conditions it just happened to catch a little bit of the manifold and just momentarily stick the throttle so if we're able to fix that it should be ready to go Starting 25th car, 1T, Chuck McConnell, Arroyo Grande, California, 68 Lola 160. Along.
got to go here. Jesus Christ, I'm okay. Oh, I mean, something scattered or something in the back, and I can't start it. Okay. okay. We're gonna pull you down. We're gonna pick him in the pit lane. Hook it high. Okay. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened? Wait, 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 wait. Get off the brake. Are you on the brake? No. No. What the hell happened? Neutral? Yeah. All right, you can get out of the car. We're going to lift you up. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Today we're running just really, really well and having a good time. And the next thing I know, I'm coming down the hill at the backside just before the uh, last, next to last turn. And it just, I heard a noise. And the next thing I know, I'm backwards spinning off the track. Well, it looks like we had something either in the differential, ring and pinion, and or the locker that came apart. It locked the rear end up and sent him off the track. And the way the Lola's built, you got to remove the engine and trans and everything as a unit. And we just don't have what we need here at the track to do that, so we're pretty well done today. Yesterday, uh, Chuck had a, a throttle cable stick um, after a few laps it was a real easy fix no big deal today after about half of the heat uh, the transmission just locked up and Chuck spun off the track fortunately not into any one or any wall um, so the only damage will be in the transmission and ironically uh, that's the only part of the car we haven't gone through so I have zero surprise on that one it was something we were going to do in the future so and uh, we're gonna face it right now and see what we got. An incredible last two days. 50th year uh, anniversary for Can-Am, just an unbelievable uh, series, and the history behind it is just phenomenal. You know, we brought some friends here, and uh, we're, they're just blown away. Well, uh, not really, I was thinking about going to get my seven speed out of my Porsche. The car's gonna be down for the weekend. We're gonna have to pull it back to the shop in Southern California. We gotta pull the engine get the transmission out. Um, Dean knows what what's wrong. Um, so it's good news and bad news, meaning, you know, the case, the most transmission is fine. Um, so he's got to pull it to get things corrected. And uh, it's something we knew we had to face down the road anyways, We'd go through the transmission and find out what surprises we got. So uh, it's just part of the process.